Hi, everybody. Good morning. It is happy, happy Friday morning. We have made it to the end of the week. Um, hoping all is well with you guys. This hair is like, I just don't really know what to do with it. It is now all of a sudden shifting to one side. It's parting and I, I just don't like it. Um, I got to make a decision whether or not that I want to have it cut have it layered again and put my bangs back. I, I just, I don't know yet. So when I don't know and I'm not sure about something, I leave everything alone and I, and I think about it. Um, had a good week, had a good week. My husband had his, um, two days off. He's, he's, you know, he sat, he relaxed. Um, he worked on some things. We went to the mall ourselves. Um, cause we, he wanted to, um, do something that we haven't done in a long time, which is to go visit Santa Claus. And with that, we had a picture taken with Santa Claus. So I do have the photos available, but I, it's too early right now to post or add them to my social media page. So I'm not going to do that yet. I'll, I'll wait until at least, at least December 1st to do that. I'll, you know, I'll have a nice new profile picture, I guess. Um, Santa Claus came out, he's wearing his glasses, but w in the picture with us, the girl photographer, <coughs> which my husband says, here we go. It's like conducting a photo pass photographer. So I had to keep getting up and I wanted to look at the screen because I wanted to see the picture. In my opinion that they're too far away, but she says, you know, is there any other pose that you would like? I said, no, no other pose. I says, but you know, they're like far away. Then the shots kept coming out to where the glass is. My husband wears glasses, I wear glasses. And as you can see right now, there's a reflection off on the glass. So it kept bothering her. So I says, well, into photo as a photography myself, I says, you know, like I could tilt my head a certain way. I says, and cut that glare off, you know, she's looking at me. And my husband looks at me, he's starting to roll his eyes because I'm, yeah, he says, here she goes. She's gonna try and control the shot. Yeah, I am gonna try and control the shot. And I will tell you why. Package deals with meeting Santa. And again, the prices are sky high. All our package, all we wanted was a five by seven, the wallets, you know, cause I'll be honest with you, we have nobody to send them to. So, I mean, my aunt, my aunt is a nun. So I am going to send her a Christmas picture and her Christmas card. I, I think that's cool. But at the same time, that little package that my husband and I discussed, it wasn't nothing. And you don't get a digital download with it. So that package that we wanted was $40. 40 bucks. I know I'm not, you know, to be comparing prices, but years ago when my mommy used to take me to Macy's, when I, I'm talking about when I was like three and four years old, you know, <clears throat> and all my pictures with Santa Claus are actually lost because I lost my baby photo album. Uh, that's a horror story. But anyhow, um, and nobody else in the family has a copy of that picture. So I was, I was livid. I only had it for many years before I lost it. It's, it's, it's something so ridiculous that you could just lose a memory, a whole entire friggin' photo album. <clears throat> Anyhow, we go to Macy's, and Macy's, I think, used to be not even maybe 10 bucks, and that was a lot of money back then, and you only got one picture, and you had to wait for it in the mail, okay? Um, now, you know, they just spit the damn thing out of the machine. She spit out a whole bunch. She laid them out on the table, the girl, after our shot was done. She says, okay, this package is so, because everything goes in packages. This package is so-and-so. This package is so. They were going up to $50. Possibly even 60 That was like the biggest package. And then you get the digital downloads with them. My husband, you see, I felt bad. She's laying everything out. Well, she says, you get these packages, you get this package, you get this package. Now, this package, she says, allows you to do this. You get the whole, every shot that you took, every shot that you took, because we get to, we're allowed to pick our own shots. Every shot that you took. Now, we took a series of photos with the glasses off. Okay. I hate 
that I had the glasses off because I have no makeup on. So with me, it's like looking at two bulging eyes with a white wall, okay? Although when I looked at these photos, I really didn't see them as that bad, especially the ones from a distance. My husband's good looking no matter what, with or without glasses. He's, you know, he's got the beautiful beard and, you know, he's, he's got that rocker look. Anyhow, um, my husband decides, he's looking at the pictures, he looks at me, he says, you know what, for an extra $10, and I looked, I rolled my eyes because I knew what he was going to say. See, I don't like to let anybody win. Well, you know what, Mo, for another $10, let's just do this. So we took home all the pictures. And we also had the digital download for an extra $10. So instead of the $40, which is $39, he paid $50. I said, we have all these pictures now. For what? We're not going to send them to anybody. He says, yeah, but you know what? We got them. He says, it's our memory. Okay, fine. So I lost that battle as well. You know, I wouldn't care if it was five cents over. I don't want to spend another five cents. That's me. To me, this is this was like a Disney sucker ring all over again. <clears throat> and I was annoyed with that. But we do have all the pictures. I'm, I actually kind of like the ones with the glasses off. And I had on my red flannel shirt. And I had on my Santa hat that I purchased at Primark. I did. That was so adorable. Santa had asked me, did I make the hat myself? I says, no, Santa, I have no time for those things. <laughs> Let me tell you what a hip, hip, hip Santa was. Santa Claus asked my husband, what do you want for Christmas? And I knew what my husband was going to say. I was like, God, I thought he was actually going to say another Disney trip. My husband winds up and says, well, I have 11 guitars. I'd like at least another three more. I said, you see what I'm dealing with, Santa? Now, me and Santa, were, you know, we're, me and Joe are going back and forth, and Santa's, poor Santa's in the middle. <laughs> so Santa says, he says, you play guitar. He says, yes, I do. He says, he says, we're every good. He said, are you in a band? My husband says, not anymore. So he says, oh, I hope if you buy the guitar, it doesn't gently weep. I, I looked at him, because Santa's in the middle of it. I looked at my husband, I said, you see, this is a hip, hip, hip Santa. Because <laughs> he knew... He knew one of the songs. So I, I was like, aha, this guy listens to music. So him and my husband were chit-chatting along during the photo shoot. And I have to get a kick out of it. Me and my husband, were two adults, but the photographer was a younger girl. And she's standing behind it. And it wasn't even a camera. They don't even use a camera. She had a computer screen. She was taking the shot off the computer screen. She was, she was having the shot. I was like, well, isn't that, isn't that something? They don't even have a physical camera anymore. So much is, so much has changed. Certain changes I don't like. And, um, I kept going. She says, you know, the shot is okay. I kept getting up and going, looking at it. my husband says, stop directing the shot. I says, hey, listen, I'm, pay you know, we're paying for this. I'd like, I'd like, uh, I'd like what I want, you know? <laughs> and, um. It was, it was okay. It was an okay experience. It's right here in that mall. So, um, but it was nice. He was a jolly looking Santa. He, he's, he resembled Santa a great deal. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. And whether or not it's not the real Santa or not, it is one of Santa's helpers. So Santa cannot be everywhere at the same time. Please understand this for the young folks. Okay. So we have Santa's helpers, not just elves, but Santa himself. Anyway, um... And that was it for that one. We went out the, the night before. We had a nice dinner, Applebee's. It was good. Had our server. Yep, yep, yep. What else? Yesterday, um, my boiler men came here to assess the boiler and clean the electric guy in the boiler. You know, took it apart, looked at it. There would have to be kind of some kind of uh, other work done, but it's not necessary right now. It's somewhere down the line in the future. And, uh, yeah, I had agreed to that. So my control paid on the wall. I was trying to like press it to, um, 
raise the heat maybe just by one and the button is like it's one of those rubbery buttons so it's like you know it it does go so i was telling the boiler guy and he was even he says yeah he says, he says you're gonna need a whole new control pad i says well that figures um that's going to be also on the back burner with you know because i really don't need it right now it's a nice 72 in here i am not raising the heat this year i don't care how cold it gets outside the main thing is it is warmer in here at any time that it is outside even if it does go down to let's say because last year it went down to like 12 degrees it, it was ridiculous but i kept raising the heat it was it was like 76 to 78 in here and that's a lot of gas money that you're that you're wasting even though my boiler is an energy saving boiler that's not the point folks you're still using gas heat okay um so we did that. I'm keeping it on 72 in here. So my boiler guy says, yeah, either 70 to 72. He says, that's pretty good. So even though also my one of my radiators, I was explaining this to you guys, is not as hot as I would like it. It's been pretty good so far. Yeah, because it hasn't been that, that cold outside yet. So I know the deal. I, sh I would like to also weatherproof my windows. There is a um, plastic sealant that you could actually put in your windows because I do have a drift. Anywho, that was it on that one. My dry event. This is hysterical. The poor guy. I says, listen, you gotta, you know, I called when I made my order so they knew what they were coming here for. There was one guy coming and he's been here before. He says, what the hell happened? I says, listen, the dry event. My ceilings are coming apart because heat rises and my ceilings are so you know, thin layered with the popcorn. We, I have the popcorn flame sealers. I showed this to you guys. He says, oh yeah, he says. So he was very kind enough to pull this dryer as much out as he can, just like the Stanley Steamer would or any other dryer company that would clean come to clean the bed. So he actually got it out more than what it was. I wanted him to check the gas pipe because I am smelling a little hint of gas that pisses me off to no end. I smell everything. My husband smells nothing. I am the one that's neurotic with it, but I do smell it. He did smell it also. I says, okay, so I'm not going nuts. So he did the um, spray test on the gas pipe. There is no leaks, no holes whatsoever, no air, nothing. Um, he did manage to put the hose back on my dryer. He used the clamp. He says, why is there no, you know, there's really no clamp on here. I says, I know, but this is what they did. He says, yeah, he says, require me. He says, technically, we're not supposed to put anything else, like no dryer cap or anything like that. He says, I'm letting you know. I says, oh, okay. He says, but I'm, he says, I could do a cap. Uh, I could do the clamp. It's the round circle thing with the, with the, the things you tighten. That wasn't, that was never on there. So he managed to go to the truck. He came back. He had one. He did that. Plus he used the tape. So he used the tape, plus he put the clamp on. That's what he did. So he says, that should not come off. He says, if that comes off, he says, I says, ah, okay, then, you know, no problem. So I haven't used it yet. <laughs> Anytime my machines are being worked on, I don't use them. It's like I get scared to use them. Um, Yeah, so that was a fiasco. He was very kind enough to, because I... I'm a neat freak when it comes to bed. I, I like to be clean where places that I can never reach all the time. Like back of the refrigerator. I'm not pulling the sucker out all the, you know, every time. I know women that do that. They they clean. They take it out once a week. Okay, first of all, there's nothing back there, but still. So the the um, the dryer, he pulled it out. I says, listen, please be patient with me. I says, I need to get back to you to clean all that. <laughs> he says, yeah, no problem. He goes, he says, you can't do it yourself. I says, yes, I can he says, no. He says, if you have a vacuum or something. So he was very kind enough to take my vacuum. And he vacuumed all the lint up for me and everything. Then when he went out to the truck to get the clamp, I wound up getting my Swiffer mop. And I, you know, I got in there with the Swiffer mop and I mopped the whole floor back there before he came back. So I'm good. I'm good. See, see those little things make me happy. And, um, yeah, that was it all day. Of course, you know, to me, it's an all day fiasco because I have to move everything before they come. I like everything to be reachable. So this way they come, they do what they have to do, and then they're out of here. So that was it. And the only thing I couldn't do was 
the dryer. I mean, if I could have did it myself, I would have. I, I, I would have never waited this long. But being that it was one of their servicemen that came, you know, repairman that came to put the holes on, and that's what made it pop off the second time, they didn't charge me. So that was good, because they do charge you for that. They do. Um, I have a company uh, service, which is awesome. Um, they're called PAC. P-A-C. Uh, plumbing, air conditioning, and I don't know what the C stands for, but it's PAC. That's what you say, P-A-C. And they are based here in New York. Um, yeah, they're also based in Staten Island. I think their office is, is in Staten Island. And um, we have what is a membership. And the membership is, I think, $290 a year. And for that, they come... And what it is, is that if you don't have the membership, anytime you call them, it's a $150 service charge. So we are on the membership plan for $290 a year. And anytime I can have them come 20 times a year and the $150 service fee is waived. You don't pay that $150 service fee. So if they have to come twice a year, that's $300 that you're saving alone. Plus the fact that any work that has to be done on parts that are not warranted, my boiler is no longer under warranty. They had a five-year warranty on that. We had moved here. We had another two. We had another three years to go on the warranty. So now that warranty is 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 useless right now. It's over. But when they come on a warrantied part, anything that they fix, you get 15% off of your price. That's cool. Um Anything that is warrantied, you don't pay for at all. So it really is a great deal for $290 a year. And that service, we they have uh, the plumbing. We have our plumbing done with them. We have our boiler done. So I like a company where it has everything in one. I don't have to call a separate plumbing company. I don't have to call a separate boiler company. I don't have to call a separate gas company because they do the gas pipes. So they do, they do all the gas assessment. So you got everything in one company, which is cool. Um, they they are very good. I, I will always speak very highly of them. Any guy that comes here is 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 great. You know they're very friendly. They're very helpful. They're very neat. Um, they will tell you like it is. You know. I mean, you're gonna have to pay something at some point. I mean, you know, we we replaced a pipe last year. We replaced the um, pressure pump valve <coughs> because of that leak that I was discussing with you. That actually happened this year. That was this year. That was in um, April. March going into April. So uh, we replaced that valve. Unfortunately, that valve, even though it was covered, but we still get 15% off on it. So that was like $480 to replace. Or else it would have been at least five five fifty dollars with tax. So I, with us, it's a good deal. And you get six months on that on that warranty pieces. So if I needed anything within the six months, they have to come back and fix that. Now that is for is for free. You don't pay for that because they're the ones that put the, the part in to begin with. So it's their responsibility for the for the next six months. So and you know it's really it's a good deal. So they gave me all the estimates. They will actually give you the estimates. They sent them they sent them to me with the 15% off. I would be saving $50 alone on this piece here for the control pad, I would be uh, saving, I think, $70 um, with what they want to do with the boiler, but that's not a necessity right now. I could do that at any time. It's just wonderful. So it's like, I like one company, everything in one. And they also do clean dry events. They do clean uh, uh, dry events and dryer hoses, and they do the, uh, the dryer shafts and that happens to be a little bit more detailed. That's why I didn't use them to clean the dry event because they charge up to fifteen hundred dollars, but they clean the whole they clean the whole thing through the house and you know all the air ducts and they disinfect all the air ducts and, and you know they would do a great job. But for fifteen hundred it's just not in our budget. I would rather do a small repair and pay for that than to do that, uh, if that makes any sense. You know, we have to do what we have to do in order to 
budget our lives. And that's what, you know, so we use a smaller company for that, like such as like the Stanley Steamer or the, the Nimrods that I had in here the first time, which are not coming back because I, I don't want to deal with them. So anyway, I'm just making myself a cup of tea. Really nothing much else has been going on. I don't know. You know what? It's 1038 now. I was... I was going to see if I could probably make it to the mall. I don't know. Just to walk around. The the Starbucks cups were being given out yesterday. The, uh, you know, how they do that every year. The Starbucks reusable cup. They were given out yesterday. Of course, I had to be here. So I always, I always miss the little things. Um, Bath and Body Works. Got a new coupon set. I You know, they upped their coupon game as well. They did. They're not giving you the free gift anymore, but it's a free full size body care item with any $10 purchase up to $17 value while supplies last limit one exclusions on shipping, blah, blah, blah. Because if you were doing it through online, $8 vanilla bean Noel or winter candy apple body care save up to $8. I know. And then here seems to be a little bit, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't go over this limit anyway. $10 off any $40 purchase. I don't spend full price $40 in there for anything. So, but the free full size body care with any $10 purchase. I would have to, uh, I could use that now. I would have to ask them first, you know, to go in. You know, I, I'm not crazy about the coupons. You know, if they were just offering you a free gift up to $8.50, I would have took another small lotion. I would have took um, uh, the bar of soap. I like their soaps, by the way. I've used, I've been using that eucalyptus uh, flavor, uh, flavor uh, eucalyptus scent of Bath and Body Works soap. I actually like it. So <clears throat> they do have some... Um, well, they have Falling fl Flurries, and they have Midnight Snow. These are some of the new candles that are out. Um, what else? They have a new fragrance that's Dream Bright. They have that. They also have that, I believe, in a perfume spray. They have it in a mist spray. And it's still the same vanilla bean Noel, and they have the they have men's fragrances. They really didn't come out with anything new yet i'm hoping they do something for the christmas holiday like i need another lotion i'm trying to use and behave myself with all the stuff that i have now <laughs> i'm trying folks i'm trying but anyway that's really it um you know disney news i'm staying away from price increase has happened again everybody's panicking but you have to understand something the price increase was for a single day ticket and that's not include that's not for a Paul Copper. That is just a single day ticket. They raised the price up. <clears throat> they uh I believe they're raising the prices up again on the annual pass holders. Feel in the burn, people. Feel in the burn. It's really, I want to say that, and I'm having a smile on my face because I can't say it with a straight face, that I want to say that things are starting to close in on the Chappic situation. I'm hoping for a uh, for uh, packing his bags. I want to see that day. I think it's going to happen. I really feel in my heart that it would happen because uh, the higher ups are starting to they notice. They're noticing that this man is not very well liked. You, it just maybe something can go. Maybe something could go backwards, and maybe something could. Uh, be readjusted on this because it's 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 just gotta ha it's gotta happen it has to happen you, you cannot live this way you cannot live this way with this with this company and i'm talking to the higher up executives with this i mean how much more bad feedbacks do you really need and that's really it folks that's really it i'm gonna save other things for another video but this was good enough thank you so much for watching thank you so much for hanging out with me and um, I don't know. I'm going to, I don't know what I want to do. Now it's a quarter to 11. I would have been dressed already and ready to go if this was, I, I just don't know what I want to do. All right, people. God bless you all. Happy Friday. Have a great start to the weekend. Love to all.
Have a great, great day. God bless you all. Thanks for watching again. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. Bye-bye.